people have been killed on the streets of one of the world's great cities. So lights flash blue and red in London's squares and tape is stretched across its junctions as the police try to contain and to protect. Can we go through now? No. No, OK, so we're... Can we go down horse class parade? But in a city full of places to go and people to meet, life demands a way around the roadblocks. Oh, open to save us, yeah. The mouth, OK, lovely. There's been other roads blocked off down towards Buckingham Palace, but you can't understand that. But yeah, London not? is a safe city to be in. Yeah, indeed. And I don't think the... The actions of a few, well, a super person should dictate on the, act the actions I take. Yeah. Three hours after the attack, people headed to the stations for the journey home, a routine slightly nervously maintained. I think it's a bit um, anxious, yes. A lot of people <laughs> on their phones talking about it and people on the bridge there looking over to Westminster Bridge. I'm surprised by the lack of yeah. security actually <laughs> around this general area, but... Um, Otherwise, it seems to have settled down a little bit, but just a nervous attitude. After nightfall, in the centre of the capital, friends still got together. Dinner dates were kept. If today's attack was born of a terrorist ideology which makes targets of ordinary people, then tonight there is a response. A way of life which bustles on, barely interrupted. With police lights at London's landmarks, visitors to the capital were coming to the end of their day out. I think we were literally about 500 yards away from Westminster Bridge when all the uh, police cars and everything was taken off. It's frightening. No, not really. No, everybody was calm. Nobody was panicking or anything. If you can't go out and, enjoy, and carry on enjoying your life, then they've won. So that's how I feel about it. London is an example of a way of life which so disgusts the extremists, a way of life that they try to attack and upset, a way of life which each time it is tested seems to grow ever more resilient. Geraint Vincent, ITV News.